Good morning, Bread of Heaven. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just want to welcome everyone here. I'm going to turn it over to the hands of the deacon. Amen. 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 Chapter, chapter. Go we'll read down through the seventh verse. John 14, 1 through 7. And the scripture reads, <coughs> Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that, that I go to prepare a place for you. And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. Therefore, I I am, you may be also. And you know the way where I, I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by, me, but by me. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. Henceforth, you know him and have seen him. John 14, verses 1 through 7. Amen. 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 All right, let's uh, go ahead and move on back to the Old Testament to uh, Psalm 16, uh, 5 through 11. I'm not singing this morning, so I'm going to give it up to the people who really sing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. It's a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord Amen. once again. Amen. 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 I was glad they said unto me. All right. Amen. Let's go and worship. Amen. The house of God. We can worship God. Amen. In spirit and in truth. Amen. 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 So we're just going to bless God for a minute. Yes, then we're going to uh, go further in our service. How many of you know God is worried about praise? Yes. Yes. Amen. He's worried about praise. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. If you can't, just, 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 this, this is the house of worship. You just lift your hands, amen, just for a minute. And in your own way, in your own way, they just bless the Lord. In your own way, just bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Just bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. I know a lot of times we wait on God to bless us. But there are times when God is waiting on us to bless Him. Just bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Just bless the Lord. Glory, glory, God, we bless your name, God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same glow. Hallelujah. Your name, God, is worthy to be praised. Oh, your name, 
to an event. <laughs> Thank you.
start with a song that says, if you confess the Lord, call him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God praise. We give God glory. You may be seated if you can, but if you can't, if you still got some more shout in you, that's all right. Today. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. Amen. We're so honored to have all of you in the house today. today. We welcome you and greet all of you in attendance. We greet all of those that are viewing, amen, via live stream. We welcome all of our viewers today that are tuning in, wherever they may be. We welcome them to the service of Red of Heaven Church of Little Rock. Amen. And we are excited. Praise God. We make no apologies of who we are. We make no apologies of our praise and worship. Hallelujah. The Lord has been gracious to us. And so we express our appreciation and gratitude through praise and worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're thankful to the Lord. Hallelujah. For what all that he has done uh, uh, to us and through us and for us today. I'm so honored to see those of you back with us, those of you that have defeated sickness, conquered the infirmities that will afflict your bodies. We thank God for all of you that have, amen, uh, gained uh, the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Those of us that are yet fighting, fighting the enemy. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord, this season. Praise God. I, I, I admonish you to take care of yourself. Amen. Amen. Use wisdom. Uh, it is winter time and it is time that where we have to take precautions. Amen. 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 Praise God. I know we're saved, but we're not invincible to, to the elements of our surroundings. So we want to be mindful of that. Amen. Before we go any further into our time of praise and worship, we're not through worshiping yet because giving is a part of worship. I do want to give you, we have said that when we started our capital campaign, that we would want to give you quarterly updates as far as where we are in our pledges as it relates to our capital campaign. We know that our goal is $80,000. Is that right? Amen. Between now and the next 12 to 18 months, we Amen. believe in God for that. Amen. Amen. So I want to give you a quarterly update, praise God, as where we are as far as the number of pledges. Our pledges is for a man for uh, individuals or family to pledge $1,000 over the course of that time period, 12 to 18 months, you would pledge $1,000. Amen. We're looking for 80 individuals. Perhaps it could be one individual. Amen. Amen. That bless us with the amount that we believe in God for Amen. to secure what we believe that we need to secure, amen, the funds for our new edifice. Amen. 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 Praise God. We already have the land. We already have the existing facility. Praise God. And so we are in a favorable position as I have talked to mm. funders. I've talked to church funders. We are in a great position already. Amen. When we want to be able to cover, amen, the uncertainties of construction costs amen. Uh, with this additional funds. And so, uh, so far, praise God, from the time we started, praise God, back in late October, <laughs> praise God, we have a total of approximately 20 to 25 pledges amen. so far amen. Of, of the 80 that we're looking for. Amen. 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 Uh, that would make up that $1,000 or 80 pledges. Praise God. But we believe in God that Amen. that God's at the end of this campaign that we're going to succeed our goal. Amen. We're going to surpass our goal. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we have we have identified we have identified a man approximately 20 individuals that have. Uh, 
express their pledge uh, to this great cause. Amen? Amen. And so we believe in God, and I pray that you will be prayerful, uh, that you will uh, solicit your friends and family uh, to come alongside of us. Amen. Amen. To help us to fulfill this portion of our vision. Praise God in, in erecting a new edifice on this property. Amen. 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 Praise God. We, uh, those of you that may not know, we own uh, approximately this entire square block. Amen. 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 The square block. <laughs> Amen. And so we have enough to fulfill the vision. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I also want to know, uh, let you know that over the course of that 12 to 18 months, that thousand dollars can be paid all at once. It can be broken out into halves. It can be broken out to where, if you want to give weekly, that comes out to nineteen dollars and eighty-four cents. Mm -hmm. If you want to do it monthly, it comes out to eighty-three dollars and forty-three cents. Amen. And so there are ways that you can do that and fulfill your pledge over the course of that 12 to 18 month period. Amen. Amen. So let's be prayerful. We want to be true to our words to give you quarterly updates as far as where we are so we can continue to pray and to believe God for great things. Amen. 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 So we're excited about that. We're looking forward to that. We're in the process of compiling our financial data. Uh, that is needed. I have already uh, one uh, church lender uh, is willing to work with us. They're just needing documentation. And so we're in the process of doing that. Let me ask Sister Shirley Thomas to stand. Sister Shirley Thomas, would you stand? Praise God. She is our church treasurer. Amen. She's also uh, is assisting us with this capital campaign fund. If you have not pledge and you uh, uh, want to pledge and you're praying about pledging, please see Sister Thomas and give her your name so we can add it to, amen, our list of pledgers so we'll know. Not saying that you have to give any funds, but we need to identify you, who you are, amen, so we can work with you as far as how are you going to honor your pledge, so, but we do need a head count, amen. amen. We do need a head count, praise God. And so uh, if you would do that after service or just just get with her after your prayer time, you, amen, you prayed and sought the Lord, praise God. But do not just limit God uh, to the $1,000. Uh, if, you, if you are in a position to do more, do more, amen. amen. But we want you to at least honor, praise God, that $1,000. Perhaps you cannot give $1,000. Praise God. But whatever you can pledge, Amen. praise God. Be faithful in that. Whether it's $100 or $500, praise God. Be faithful to that. And do not be intimidated. Amen. Don't be intimidated. Don't be embarrassed. Praise God. All of us have our different uh, circumstances and obligations. Amen. But we want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into the vision of prayer of heaven. Amen. Hopefully sometime uh, this quarter we will be Amen. Working with an artist as far as a church rendering uh, so we can have a visual. We can have a visual. Praise God. A point of contact. Hallelujah. The Bible said that God instructed Jacob when he was with his father-in-law. Uh, his father was just as a trickster as he was. Uh, he said all the speckled spice sheep you can have. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, Jacob took, amen, a rod, a stick, uh -huh. and he cut notches at it, uh -huh. laid it into the drinking water, uh -huh. and as the sheep came to drink, uh -huh. that's what they saw every Come day. They saw it every day. Every day. Hallelujah. And as they procreated. <laughs> All right now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As they made it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That was already in their spirit. Mm -hmm. So when they gave birth, when they conceived, uh -huh. they gave birth to spotty and speckled uh -huh. lambs. Yeah. Is that right? So in other words, we need a visual so it can get in your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You become impregnated. Yeah. 
with what you see. Is that right? Amen. Praise God. Ella Williams is coming to receive our tithes and offerings this morning. As we said again, we're so glad to see all of you that's been out, that are back in the house. Amen. Pray for those that are yet to return. Amen. They are making progress. I've communicated with them. They're doing well. Praise God. And they are anticipating being back with us on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Come on, let the church say amen. amen. Come on, let's say it again. Amen. amen. We thank God for this wonderful day. We thank him that he has blessed us once more with a new opportunity. Right. Every day above ground, you have new opportunity to show that you appreciate him. Amen? Amen. So we ask that you prepare your hearts and your giving. And know that when you prepare your hearts, that you're not just, you're not sowing into man, you're sowing into the kingdom. Amen. When you even pass to talk about the campaign fund, you're still sowing into kingdom business. Amen. See, it's not a selfish thing, it's a selfless thing. It's a God thing. Right. Hallelujah. So we ask that you will prepare your hearts to give whatever it is that God put on your heart to give. It's not, as we say, it's not about the quantity, but it's the quality of your giving. Amen. That which God puts on your heart to give, if you give it wholeheartedly, Amen. believing that your God will supply all your needs. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you have your seed ready, we ask that you will stand all over the building. If you're yet preparing, that's fine. We're going to pray together. Hallelujah. How many of you know and believe that God's in the blessing business? Right. It is his delight that he bless you, that you be blessed. Amen? Amen. Come on, you didn't sound excited. It is his delight that you be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God, from, he made you beautifully and wonderfully made. Amen. So we thank God for his grace and mercy upon our lives. So with your seat in hand, we ask that you bow that we will pray together all over the building. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Master, for all those that stand here today with the heart to give, that have seed in hand. Bless them, Father, in their giving. Bless those that have the heart to give but could not do so. For, Father, they are your children. Honor them and bless them right where they are. For you are a need-meeting God, and we thank you, Lord, that all needs are met according to your will. Father, we pray right now that you will bless everyone attached to this house. We speak increase over the body. Let the body say increase. Increase in your finances. Increase in your ministry. Increase in your health. We speak increase over this house and everyone attached that you shall live in the more than enough. In abundance. It is in your darling son Jesus' name that we call this so by faith. Believing that we shall have more than enough. It is in Jesus' name. We thank you, love you, and give you all the praise. Let the body respond by saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Starting from the rear rows, we're asking you to turn facing the walls, making your way around to the front. The ushers are coming forward to receive your giving. May God bless you, and may God keep you. Hallelujah.
Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Every day of our life, we want God to direct us. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. We're so honored to the Lord for you that are here. And we're so privileged and so thankful for all that God has done for us. Amen. And all that he's about to do. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we bring the message today, we want to do something very precious to me and that, that the Lord instructed us to do to begin every every first of the year. And that is, we had talked about this uh, last Sunday. We were scheduled to do it last Sunday, but uh, there were so many of our leaders that were out last Sunday. So we're so thankful that uh, uh, a great portion of them are back with us today. Amen. And so we're not going to prolong this part of our uh, our service. And that is, the Lord instructed me to <coughs> consecrate every first Sunday all of our leaders. Amen. All of our leaders, all of our church workers. Amen. Uh, all of all of the uh, men and women of God that God has uh, graced us with to anoint them as we enter into a new year of service, right, a new year of labor. Amen. And so we want to do that today uh, before we bring our message. And I want to read some scripture to you uh, before we do that. I want to call uh, all of our elders, all of our ministers, I want to call you up to the altar at this time. All of our elders, all of our ministers, if you are a minister, hallelujah. <coughs> Mr. Hogan, you, there's another part for you. Thank you, dear. There's another part for the minister of music and our musicians. Amen. Praise God. There's another part. And I want to read the scripture to you. Because those that God has laid his hands upon and God has called, he has set you apart. <clears throat> and I want to read something in your hearing from the book of Exodus as God instructed Moses. As God instructed Moses. Moses was leading the people of Israel through the wilderness. And God gave his father-in-law wisdom to talk to Moses. Exodus 18 and 24 says these words. It says, So Moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law and did all that he had said. Moses chose able men out of the house of Israel and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifty, and rulers of ten. And they judged the people in all the seasons, the hard causes that they brought unto Moses. But every small matter, they judged them themselves. And Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went his way into his own land. Amen. 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 God has uh, blessed us to have these leaders Amen. Uh, in this house, and God has added leaders <coughs> to this place Amen. to come alongside me, to Lady Patsy, to help us lead to this house and lead to the, the future house. <coughs> And so we're so honored to have them today, and I want to consecrate them and anoint them that as we enter into this new year, that all of us uh, will be committed and be faithful to that which God has put into our hands. Amen. There are difficult times and difficult days that all of us will experience, but nonetheless we are laborers unto the Lord. And so we don't want to forget that in the course of our living, in the course of our <coughs> achieving personal gains or uh, family gains. But let us remember, first and foremost, we are called of the Lord Amen. into the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I want to anoint them today. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I 
just going to lay hands upon them. And then once I lay hands upon them all, I will just speak a word over their life today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have all these men and women of God for your service. And we pray that as we consecrate ourselves for this new year, God, that we will be more determined than ever to live up to that call, to live, live up to the great responsibility that you place into our hands as men and women of God. Father, your word declares that the vessel must be fit for the master's use. And I pray for every vessel. Every vessel, Lord, that was in the temple was anointed yes. and consecrated for service. Yes. I anoint every vessel here today and I consecrate them for the service of the Lord and also for the servant of for the service of the house. Yes. I decree to you your anointing is not for you. But your anointing must be released. Yes. In the name of Jesus. So I impose I impart unto them. Lord, another level of anointing for this year. In the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, right now. And I give you praise. And I give you glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. We thank God for these leaders. Amen. Leaders, you may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want our musicians to come up. Our musicians to come up. Ella. Amen. You stay right there. Praise God. Just stay to the side. Praise God. I'm going to call you up later. Yeah, just face the people. Because not only are you serving of God, but you're serving unto the people. Amen. And I want to read 1 Chronicles chapter 6. 1 Chronicles chapter 6. Hallelujah. As David began to identify the house of Levi, and we know the purpose and the call upon the Levites. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I want to read first, first Corinthians, excuse me, First Chronicles chapter 6, verse 31 and verse 32. <coughs> and David began to, to identify the family of Levi. And I'm not going to read all of these psalms of who and psalms of him and all of that. But I want to read verse 31 and 32. And these are they whom David set over the service of Saul in the house of the Lord after that the ark had rest. I know Elder Holloway is not here, but we're going to consecrate him upon his return. And verse 32 said, and they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation with singing until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. And then they waited on their office according to their order. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is so important. It is so important that we understand and appreciate the office of the psalmists, the singers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is where is the uh, excuse me, the praise, the praise team, the praises. The praisers. Amen. Hallelujah. The praisers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. You have an awesome responsibility. And one of the, the things that the enemy fights against so adamantly and so severely is praise and worship. Amen. Because he understands. He is he is a person who 
matter of fact, he is praise. He was praise. He was the worship. Amen. He knows about every instrument. He knows every chord, every vocal. Hallelujah. He knows how to get into harmony and so disharmony. You have an awesome responsibility. Do not take it lightly. As God has called you to usher in his presence and his glory before the people. Hallelujah. And so I want to anoint you this year that even more so you be committed to sing, not to please people, but to glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I anoint you today. I anoint you today. I anoint you. I anoint you. I anoint you. Father, in the name of Jesus, every vessel has been consecrated and dedicated into your service. May they sing and may they minister, may they play, anoint their hands. Yeah. Anoint their hands to play and to minister. Not for self, but for your glory. In the name of Jesus, I am not them right now. I release them into their gifts and their callings and talents. Hallelujah. I pray a spirit of one be upon them. As their voices will go up as one before the Lord. And I thank you right now. That this year will be a year like no other. Hallelujah. That they have ever encountered. Hallelujah. Take them to another level. As they, as they lift up their voice, may the house be lifted up to another level of praise and worship. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Come on, give God a praise for our praise and worship. And our, our ministers, our psalmists, our minstrels, praise God today. And I want to last, not last, but next, I want to call up, if you are a church worker, if you hold any position in church, if you hold any position in church, now if, you, if I've already known it, you don't come up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before I do that, our dancers, our dancers, our dancers, come up, come up, our dancers. You a dancer? If you are a dancer, a praise dancer. <laughs> let, me, let me clarify. If you are a praise dancer, amen. Huh? Who's not here? Okay, okay. All right. We will do that later. Jay. Jay, yeah. Mm. That's great. That's who else? Who else? Am I missing? Anybody else? Praise God, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was the dancers that led the procession out of Egypt. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that is a sign, hallelujah, that God always wants his people to rejoice and to dance and praise him. Whenever God brings you out of something, you ought to have a dance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
And so I want to anoint our dancers, and they're part of the worship ministry, they're part of the praisers. Hallelujah. They have set the atmosphere. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When they're dancing and waving the banners and the flags, amen, that's the banners represent standards and the standard in the house. Amen. It, 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 it makes known to the enemy who we are because of our banner. Hallelujah. So I want to anoint you today. Hallelujah. I anoint you today. I anoint you as dancers and praises before the Lord. Father, I anoint these ladies as they dance before the Lord as they create an atmosphere of deliverance and praise and glory. I anoint them even the more this year as I consecrate them and dedicate them unto the Lord. Let it not be for vain glory, but let it be to exalt the Lord. Hallelujah. As they dance, hallelujah. May the people declare Hosanna. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. As they worship him, God, in the beauty of holiness, I thank you for them. I love their feet. I love their arms. Hallelujah. Lord. I want their mind to be even more creative in their expression before you. Hallelujah. 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 You have the ability to express worship that the angels cannot identify with. I thank you, Father. And I give you praise for these ladies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are a church worker, if you hold any position in the church, would you come right now? If I have not prayed for you, any, anybody, if you are a church worker, deacons come up, deacons come up, ushers come up, announcers come up, amen, sound room come up, kitchen staff, hospitality, amen, vanilla events, praise God, bereavement, any, any position, will you come up at this time? Hallelujah. I want to pray, pray for you. Hallelujah. Our finance people, come up. If you hold a position. Amen. I said, if you hold a position. Amen. If you're doing anything in the church. Amen. 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 Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to read a scripture. Hallelujah. I want to read a scripture over you. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know the Bible says that there is the there is the office and there is the there is the the positions of the ministry. The ministry of helps. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We can't we can't do it without you. Amen. You're so valuable. Just because you don't hold a mic, Hallelujah. That means you're not valuable. Amen. Amen. You are important, just as important as I am. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I want to read the scripture, Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, so we built the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. I thank God that he has graced us with people that have a mind to work. Hallelujah. And I thank God for you, and I want to pray over you today. Hallelujah. I want to anoint you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I lay hands upon these men and women of God, these deacons, these church workers, these laborers, I sanctify them. I consecrate them. Hallelujah. 
Lord, they're so valuable to this house. And I honor them before your people. And I pray, oh God, that they will serve you not to be seen, but they'll serve out of love for the Lord. A love for the house. A love for your people. I thank you, Lord. And I pray that may you bless them a thousand times more this year in the name of Jesus. Thank you for them stepping up and accepting these roles in the house, these positions, oh God. I take it not lightly, but I praise you for them. And I speak blessings over their life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. Come on, let's give God a praise. For the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you stand out front? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. About six months ago, the Lord uh, laid it upon my heart to do something. And the Lord led, led me to appoint two associate pastors. Amen. Amen. Two associate pastors. Hallelujah. Come on, amen. Clap your hands. Two associate pastors. Hallelujah. And he instructed me to set aside Elder Carl Sullivan. And Elder Amen. Reginald Williams. Amen. Elder Sullivan is, of course, he's uh, he is ministering and pastoring to his wife, and uh, he has been under the weather himself. And we we're praying for him, and we're going to consecrate him upon his return, as we will Elder Holloway. Amen. But I, I did not want to prolong this any longer. I have talked to both of these men of God, and I asked them to pray about this and to be uh, uh, mindful of this. And I had already talked to uh, uh, some other individuals to inform them what God has placed in my spirit to do. And so, uh, Ella Williams had been with me for approximately eight years, nine years, one or nine years. Oh, Hallelujah. And Ella Sullivan, many of you know Ella Sullivan, he pastored for many years. Oh, Hallelujah. And uh, some of you sat under his ministry. Praise God. And, uh, uh, and so, I've known him for... Ooh, a good 10 to 15 years Amen. I've known him, if not longer. Amen. And God led him to this house. Amen. And he says, he told me, he said, Pastor, you know, we call each other friends. He said, friend, Amen. the Lord led me here to help you Amen. in whatever capacity you want me to serve. And I didn't forget that because that takes a lot for a pastor that a pastor his own flock, mm -hmm. own church, yeah. to humble himself yeah. mm -hmm. to come alongside someone else. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so the Lord impressed upon me to honor him with the role as the associate pastor. Amen. Because uh, <laughs> you don't believe that. Many of you that said on his ministry, you, amen, you know him as pastor, and that's what you call it. <laughs> amen. amen. He is a pastor. Amen. He is a pastor. Amen. That, that doesn't go away. Amen. It doesn't go away. And so I want to uh, honor uh, Ellen Sullivan and Ellen Williams with that, uh, that office as the associate pastor. Amen. Amen. Yeah. They will be uh, uh, recognized as pastors. Amen. And so they may take some getting used to us calling them pastors. But I want you to get used to, uh, you know, somebody may say, well, what do we call you? Amen. <laughs> I, I 
money on it. I will, I will go by, amen, the official uh, title that I have been consecrated in as bishop. Amen. 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 So that may take some getting used to as well. But we are all workers together. And I want uh, Lady Patsy, she's going to read uh, our consecration orders uh, as we appoint Elder Williams today. We're going to do this for Elder Sullivan upon his return Amen. as well. Amen. Amen. And so she's going to read our uh, appointment decree, and then I'm going to uh, lay hands upon Elder Williams and uh, impart to him to serve in the office as the associate pastor of Bread of Heaven Church. Amen. 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 Bread of Heaven Church, today we set aside Elder Reginald Williams, who has been appointed to serve as our associate pastor. We believe that, they, that he is well qualified and have been prayfully appointed by our bishop, Elder Williams. You have been sent to live among us as a bearer of the word of God, a minister of sacrament, and a sustainer of love, order, service, and discipleship of the people of God. Elder Williams, you are to represent the ministry of servanthood, to proclaim God's word, and to equip all Christians to be in ministry of compassion and justice in service to the community. Will you adhere to this decree and feed and cover this house according to its creed? If so, say, I will. I will. Amen. Today, we reaffirm this commitment in the presence of this congregation. Our bishop will now anoint you and lay hands as impartation and a consecration. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. We come today to anoint this man of one, this man of God to serve in the capacity as one of the associate pastors of this house. It's my duty, and privilege, and honor to anoint you to consecrate you, and I pray that. Over the course of these eight, nine years that you have experienced my spirit and my heart for the people and for this house. And I believe you have. But I believe now even more so with this great responsibility that is placed upon your shoulders. That you would even more so embark upon a greater anointing as a shepherd of this house, that you would feel what I feel, and you'd be able to hear what I hear. And that as we walk together more closely now, that I will be able to impart into your spirit that which is in mine. That we are servants it's not about us. It's not for our glory. It's not our parade. But it's unto the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that you will feed the people. You will labor among the people. You will minister to the people. Hallelujah. So I anoint you today, my brother, as an associate pastor of Bread of Heaven Church. And I thank God for you. I thank God for the anointing. Hallelujah. Are you perfect? No. Am I perfect? No. Hallelujah. So we stay humble before the Lord in that which God has put into our care. In the name of Jesus. Father, I am on him today. I am part into him. That which you have led me to do so. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. I give you praise. I consecrate him. I anoint him. 
I release him into the world which you have called called him to do. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. We're so thankful to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank God for this opportunity that we have today to honor uh, these men and women of God today. Hallelujah. And we're going to share with you uh, more uh, in the days to come as far as what exactly they will be uh, shepherds over, which departments they will be shepherds over, so you'll know who will be your point of contact. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we will share that with you perhaps next week. We'll have that available to share with the body as far as their area of reports. Amen. Hallelujah. Their area of ministry that they will shepherd. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We thank God for all of you today. Amen. Hallelujah. We are excited about what the Lord is doing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me give you a few words here, and then we're going to let you go. Turn with me, praise God, in your Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 19. Genesis 19. And we're going to read verse 15 through 26. Genesis 19. Verses 15 through 26. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're not going to tarry long. The Bible declares in Genesis 19, 15, And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men lay hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, and the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth, and sent him without the city. And it came to pass that when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And God said unto them, Oh no, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified uh, thy mercy, uh, which thou hast shown unto me, and save in my life. I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil there take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. It is, not, is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city, for, for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, that I cannot do anything till thou come thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities, that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God. Father, we thank you for your word. May it not return more, but may it accomplish every purpose. Amen. Amen. I want to talk about it, man. Don't linger and don't look back. Don't linger and don't look back. Amen. I'm not going to be long. I want to bring out a couple of points here, a couple of problems that, that occurred in these scriptures, and then we're going to let you go. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible declares that we know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, how that Lot and his family, they journeyed there, hallelujah, and they uh, encountered some difficult times. Uh, the city uh, had some, uh, some moral issues. Oh, that's right. Amen. It had some character issues. 
And I want to challenge us today to realize that we still have the same issues today. Hallelujah. But God is able to deliver. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But I want to share something with you because Lot had a problem. Uh, not only one problem, but he had a couple of problems that I want to identify today. And the Bible says that when God sent his messengers to inform Lot that now is the time to escape from the city because God had spoke judgment. That's right. right. Amen. How many know that not only is he a God of mercy, but he's a God of judgment? Amen. 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 Don't fool yourself. Amen. He is a loving God. He is a loving Father. Amen. But God also is a, judge, a God of judgment. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And so here God had judged these two cities because of their moral character, because of their disobedience, because uh, it would come down to it because of sin. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Right. It's just sin. That's good. Hallelujah. Sin. Sin. I, and I don't want you I don't want you to look at because we look at this and we say, oh, well, this is just a sin because Amen. They were they were homosexuals or they were lesbians or whatever it might be. Amen. Sin is sin. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. Amen. If you're a gossiper, if you're a liar, amen. Right. If you're a fornicator, if you're an adulterer, yeah. come on, somebody. If you're a robber, stealer, amen, stealer, a thief or killer, it's sin. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. It is a sin to come. Come on, amen, amen. If you're jealous and envious, that's a sin. Amen. amen. So let us don't look down upon someone else's sin as if, amen, sin, amen, has no category in the eyes of God. Amen. As a matter of fact, the words are all have sin. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Come on, amen. I think that covers all of us, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Amen. I can't point a finger at you. You can't point a finger at me. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. My uncle told me, amen, said years ago, when you point your finger at me, amen, three of them point back at you. Look at it, Amen. amen. It Hallelujah. So we have to understand uh, that sin is sin in the eyes of God. Yes, amen. Sir. Huh? That's right. Amen. Matter of fact, amen, the boss of boss and all liars. Uh, shall have their place uh, in the lake of fire. Is that right? Amen. Amen. And so we have to understand that Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, even though that this was thousands of years ago, that there are still Sodom and Gomorrahs today. And not only cities, but amen, but Sodom and Gomorrahs of individuals that where they have, amen, developed into a lifestyle of sin. Amen. Hallelujah. But I want to look at Lot here for a few minutes. Lot was instructed by God through the messengers that God had called judgment upon the cities and now he was getting ready to destroy them. And so God in his mercy gives Lot and his family opportunity to escape. That's right. Hallelujah. But Lot had a problem. Hmm. Huh. Lot of the problem, amen. Look at verse number 15 and 16. It says, when the morning arose and when the angels had hastened, Lot said, Amen. It's saying, Lot, arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Amen. So Lot was warned. Mm -hmm. huh? God is still warning people today. Amen. Huh? Amen. Get yourself together. Get your house in order. Amen. Amen. Come out from among them. Amen. 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 Choose the choose the narrow path. Is that right? Hallelujah. Choose life. Hallelujah. God is so gracious. God even said, Amen, choose death and life. Yes, sir. Is that right? Blessings and curses. And so here, he told Lot to escape from the city for your life. But Lot had a problem because look at verse 16. I see a problem with Lot right. in verse 16. Right. The Bible said, and while he lingered. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, he lived. Amen. That's a problem. A lot of people have issues. They have attachment issues. Amen. They're not willing to go. They're not ready to go. Because they have attachment issues. Lot had attachment issues. Hallelujah. This is the same Lot that was with his, amen, with Abraham, praise God, with his uncle Abraham. And when Abraham said, amen, we've gotten too large, we need to separate. Yes, sir. And choose you which direction. Hallelujah. Lot 
chose, amen, what he thought was a great uh, land, praise God. Right. He looked and saw cities. He looked and saw great lights. He looked and saw the metropolis, amen, of that day. He said, I'm going yonder. Uh -huh. Is that right? Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lot had a problem, praise God, leaving and associating with the crowd. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There are people that, amen, yes, they follow the crowd. They love the crowd. They got to be around people. Right. If they around folk, they can't make it. If right. they around people, amen, pray. Don't you know, praise God, that you don't need people to validate you? Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to be you. You got to be what God called you to be and do what God has called you to do. Amen. In regard to what anybody else say about you, you got to be you. Is that right? right. Hallelujah. Lot had a problem with attachment. Yes, right. Lot wasn't ready to go. He lingered, he lingered, he lingered to the point that where uh, they had to lay hands upon him. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And drag him out. Oh, my God. Come on, y'all. Amen. He had a problem. God then told him what was about to go down. God then told him, I'm through with this city. Come on, somebody. All right, right. These are the city that God, hallelujah, that Abraham tried to bargain with God. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. Huh? Uh, he bargained with God. And God said, Amen. God was gracious enough to tell Abraham, Abraham, I'm getting ready to do something. Hallelujah. But Abraham knew that his nephew was there. And he said, God, come on, let me holler at you. Would you spare this city? Huh? Uh, if you can, if you can look over the city, can you find righteous folk? Would you spare the city? Uh, would you, Amen? He began to bargain with God and said, "Could you, Amen? Would you spare for fifty? Yeah. 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 yeah, If you can find fifty righteous folk, uh, come right. on, somebody, All right. Amen. Get down to where if, if you find ten. Right. Oh my God, Hallelujah, Amen. Hey, but do we have 10 righteous folk up in here? At least 10 righteous folk up in here? I pray we got 10 righteous folk up in here. Oh, my, my. Hallelujah. I don't want to go to the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But he said, no, no, no. Hey, but God had made up his mind, and he began to warn. He was gracious enough to talk to Abraham. He was gracious enough to send messengers to Lot. Hallelujah. Y'all, we serve a God that is gracious enough to give us some warning about trouble. Is that right? God will warn you. But most of all, y'all, we miss the signs of the warning. Because we're so attached. We're so close. We're so involved. We're so engaged that we miss the signs. And here the Bible said that Lot had attachment issues. He, he wasn't ready to go. All right. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't ready to go. Look what he said. And while he lingered, the men laid holds upon him, hold upon him, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, and the Lord being merciful unto him, okay. and they brought them forth and set him without the city. Amen. Don't you realize, amen, that sometimes God will have to override our stupidity That's right. Thank you, and our ignorance Thank you, and help us. Thank you, Lord. In spite of my own self, yeah. I thank God that God intervenes in my life. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When I think I know it all, I got it all together, I got all the answer, but I thank God, hallelujah, that God overlooked my stupid self. Yeah. And able to intervene in my life yeah. and save my soul. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I thank God that God does that. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And God was merciful unto him. Yeah. Has he ever been merciful to you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Has he ever spared your life and brought you out and opened a door and kept you from? Come on, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to I thank God he kept me from a lot of stuff. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. With my ignorant self. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me up in here. Oh, hallelujah. I thank God he was merciful upon me. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God that he kept me. Hallelujah. When I couldn't keep myself. Yes, Is that right? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I thank God that if it had not been for the Lord, 
who was on my side, where will I be? Oh my God. Can you imagine the trouble that you could have been? Yes, sir. Into? Yes, sir. If God hadn't stepped in? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Thank you. I thank you, Lord, for showing mercy. Thank you. Oh, how many know he's merciful? He's merciful. Oh, come on, somebody thank you for being merciful. Thank you for being merciful. Thank you for keeping me. And you kept me from going that direction. You kept me from going to that house. You kept me from hooking up with that person. You kept me from signing that paper. You kept me from taking that situation. You kept me from thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Ha! Hallelujah. Thank you. Here he's trying to be merciful to Lot, and Lot was even hard hit. So God just had to yank him up. Huh? And take him on out to see. My God. Uh, uh, hallelujah. But have you waited? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, man. I I, I done built a house here and hey man, and I got I got this going for me in here. And I'm somebody in this city. And they know me around here. And you just want me to just walk away from all of this? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Huh? Hey, but you know how we are, we get attached to stuff. Yeah. 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 No? Yeah, yeah we're just some help. Right. Man, Thank I done, you, Lord. I done got this land in good shape, and you want me to walk away from it? Uh -huh. All these trees I had to cut down, all these rocks I had to haul off, and you want me to leave all this for somebody else? Oh, my God. We have attachment issues, not only to things, but to people. Amen. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Y'all still love me from last Sunday. We get attached to folk. Yeah. Huh? We get attached to folk. Yes, sir. He had attachment issues. Yeah. That's why he lingered. Mm -hmm. yeah. huh. He hesitated. Mm -hmm. huh. Hallelujah. And God had to speak to him. And God had to, amen, just intervene and just snatch him up out of the city. Hallelujah. Because see, when God speaks a word, it's going to happen. All right. All right. Well, it's going to happen. Right. Right. When God pronounced judgment, it's going to happen. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't care how we cry and wail, amen, and fall out. When God says something is going to happen, it's going to happen. Is that right? right. right. Man. Hallelujah. Amen. He had to get on to suck. Amen. The Samuel, amen, told Samuel, stop crying over song. When I've already rejected him, I've already got David ready. Come on, somebody. I've already getting ready to, amen. amen. Stop crying over him. And let him go and lose him. Amen. I done moved on. Yeah, you got to move on. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to move on. You got to move on. Hallelujah. You got to move on for some stuff. You got to move on for some things. Amen. You can't linger and miss God. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. Lot had doubts about leaving yeah. a place where God had already judged. Yeah. Already condemned. Yeah. Already passed sentence. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. They've already been tried. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He gave them a fair trial. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. They've been tried and convicted. Yeah. <laughs> And sentence has been passed. Is that right? Oh, he's a merciful God. Oh, he's a God of long suffering. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I can remember growing up, amen. My mother and grandmother used to have a famous saying, amen, that amen, they would let us slide on, on our whoopings. All right, all huh? right. But until the day. Yes, sir. And they would say, now I'm going to pay you for all that do. My God. Today it will be child abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Child abuse. Yeah. But they tell us back that they, I don't want no clothes. Y'all yeah. yeah. don't want to talk to me up this here. Y'all right. don't want to talk to me up here. Amen. God yeah. yeah. don't want no clothes. Come on, somebody. He said, I'm giving Sodom and Gomorrah time. Come on, somebody. Why? I'm giving you time. I'm trying to be merciful. But you've got a tackling issue. Hallelujah. Yeah. So God, hallelujah, 
stand in his ignorance. That's right. And kept him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Kept him, kept his family, kept his wife. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Kept his two daughters. <coughs> Hallelujah. Because God had a plan. Mm -hmm. He had a plan. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at look at look at the next verse here. And look at verse 17 because I want to I want to see because he had a problem with attachment, but also Lot has a problem, amen, not listening to God's instruction. That's right. Mm -hmm. instruction. Not listening to God's instructions. Look at verse 17. And he came to pass that when they had brought them far abroad, that he said, Escape for your life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in the play, but escape to the mountain. Yes. Amen. Lest I be consumed. Hallelujah. He's given them exactly where to go. That's right. But y'all, we so educated, we so smart. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, I got this. Lord, I know what I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Hallelujah. But here, he said, Skate not to the city, but go to the mountain. Huh? And Lot said unto him, look at verse, uh, verse 18. Lot said, Oh, not so. Huh? Wait a minute. God did give him instructions. God did told him where the safe place was. Yes, right. Is that right? And Lot says, Not so. Huh? Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Even though that you may not say it out of your mouth, but our actions. Oh, 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 Men of us have told the Lord not so. Because of our actions. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me up in here. Oh, I can't get no help. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And he said, not so. After hearing the messenger of the Lord, he said, not so. In other words, Lot said, I ain't gonna do it. All right. All right. That's what Lot said. Amen. Amen. I ain't gonna do it. Uh -uh. I know a better way. Uh -huh. I can already pick that way I want to go. Come on now. Uh -huh. That's what he said. Lock said unto him, Oh, no, not so. My Lord. <laughs> he, can't, he can't say, My Lord, and not follow the Lord. When you say, Lord, you in charge, Lord. When you say, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, I surrender, Lord. What are you going to do, Lord? You are Lord. You, Lord. Right. But he told the Lord, not so. Uh, verse 19, he said, Behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight. He said, Hath not found grace in your sight? Yes. And thou hast not defined my mercy? He said, Which thou hast uh, 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 saved my life, I cannot escape to the mountain. Let some evil. See, he's already, already thinking. His mind is already thinking. He said, if I go to the mountain, I'm going to die. All right. Look how he sound, y'all. Look how ignorant he sounded because amen, the messenger of the Lord said, go to the mountain. But he said, if I go to the mountain, I'm going to die. Do we think that God's going to take us to the mountain to kill us? All right. All right. If that be the case, he's going to stay in song. God wants to kill him. Hallelujah. But we're so intelligent. We're so smart. Come on, y'all. We got to humble ourselves and hear the Lord. He didn't listen to the instructions of the Lord. Verse 20, he said, to the, He said, Lord, see, he already had a city picked out. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. All right. Look at verse 20. He said, Behold, now, this city is near to flee unto. He said, Why got to go away to the mountain? Yeah. There's a city right down the road. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Why are you going to go way up to the, to the mountain? Uh, it's like climbing on a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Amen. 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 Huh? Huh? Amen. He probably said the devil is a lie. <laughs> Look what he said. He's in my hole. This city is near to flee to. Huh? You done yanked me out of my house, disturbed my, amen, all of my possessions. I didn't have time to pack real good. And, uh, I left some valuable stuff behind, and now you want me to go up and climb a mountain, and there's a city right over young. All right. Huh? All right. Amen. Huh? Look what he said. He behold, there's a city right over there. It's, he said, it's a small one. <laughs> That's what he said. Y'all read the same book I'm reading? He said, and it is a little one. Yeah, right. Now, what they got to do with it? Yeah. Huh? So it's a little city. Oh, let me escape that. Then he said, 
Isn't this a little? Amen. He said, my soul shall live. Mm. Hallelujah. Nobody knows better than the Lord. Amen. When it comes to our well-being. Amen. That God gives us, hear me, God gives us, he gives us the free will yes, to do whatever we want to do. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. But he still knows better than I. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, right. How many know the Father knows best? Yes, Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 Father knows best. And so here he said, it's a little city. Let me go over there and my soul shall live. And verse 21, he said unto them, See, I have accepted your concerning this thing, that I will not overthrow the city for that which thou hast spoken. He said, Hurry up! Yeah. The messenger said. Amen. In verse 22, he said, Hurry up! Mm -hmm. Escape thee! He said, Because I can't do anything until you get out of here. Y'all, right. God can't do anything. Oftentimes in our life because he waited on us to move. That's right. All right. 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 Amen. Uh, true, true that. We still lingering. We still hesitating. Yes, we still in doubt. Yes, sir. Come on, son. We have a remorse. Yes, sir. We have a regret. Come on, somebody. God, I can't move until you move. All right. Huh? All right. He's a moving God. Come on, somebody. I can't move until you move. Hallelujah. And, and so Lot, Lot made up in his mind that he was going to go to that city. God has given him instruction. Amen. 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 I told y'all before, amen, I took this job one time. I took it. I did not consult God. I told y'all the story before. I took that job solely based on money. I took it solely based on money. The Lord didn't tell me to take it. I took it. Because it paid well. Yeah. That job about killed me. Yeah. I despised it. I hated it. I did not look. I, I, I stayed in my car on the parking lot <laughs> till the very last minute. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> no, I didn't go <laughs> Stayed in my car praying. Lord, help me today. I waited till the last minute to go into my office. And I couldn't wait till five o'clock on the gallery. That job affected my health. Because I didn't wait on God. I didn't hear God. I chose it. And I paid the price. It wasn't worth the money. Come on, y'all. And I know that many of us, for the most part, amen, we take employment based upon money. Come on now. Can I be truthful in God's Yes, sir. We look at the money. But we've got to understand it's not always about money. Hallelujah. See, it cost me money. Yeah. Yeah. It had me going to doctors. I was stressed. Come on, somebody. All right. I started having headaches. I've never been a person that had headaches. I started having headaches. I said, Lord. And I did something I've never done in my professional career. I walked away from a job. I had to. To save my life. Right. Hmm? And I had to repent. I said, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Amen. Lot chose this city to go to because it was near. Lot, oh my, hear me, hear me, hear me. Lot chose this city, y'all, because it was convenient. All right. All right. All right. See, we're always looking for what's convenient. What's easy. Come on. What's, what, what's not going to cost me much? That's what we're looking for. Come on, somebody. Life chose that because he, he was right down the road. 
It was close. He did, he did not want to make the commitment or the sacrifice to go to the mountains. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord right, God. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so, and so God honored him, but Lot had to pay. Amen. Hallelujah. Look what he says here. Praise God. Amen. In verse number 23. And the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zohar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of the heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at verse number 29. Skip over there real quick. Look at verse 29, verse 30. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God, oh, God, God. Didn't God tell him not to go to the cities of the plain? And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in which, uh, which Lot dwelt. And Lot went up out of Zohar and dwelt where? In the mountain. Where God instructed him from the start to go to. Lot had to flee the city to get Don't you play with God. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. yeah. God will bring you back full circle. All right. All right. That's what you run from. That's what you don't want to have nothing to do with. God will bring you back to it. Did not tell you. All right. Uh, All right. Lot had to, he had to leave. And, amen. He wasn't even selling so our good. He had to leave and dwell in the mountain. And he and his two daughters. That's right. For he feared to dwell in Zoar. And he dwelt in a cave. Mm -hmm. Don't second guess God. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And can I tell you something? And you know this to be true. If you walk with God for any length of days, you understand. Because, amen. There are times that when God gives you instruction, it don't make sense. Yes, it don't make sense. Hallelujah. It don't make sense sometimes. When he tells you to do something, it don't make sense. Hallelujah. Wait on it. That's right. But you got to hear God. Yes. Yes, yes. You got to hear the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost will instruct you on what to do. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I've learned that over the years. I've learned that, hallelujah, in dealing with things. Do I still miss it yet? Because I'm human. Do we still miss it, men? Yes. Because we're human. Right, right. Amen. Huh. We as men for the most time, hallelujah, uh, on, on several things, we don't consult God. That's right, right. So I got this. That's right. mm -hmm. I can put this together. I can read a map. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Huh? I right. don't need no GPS. Y'all right. ain't going to talk to me up in here. Right. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah. Am I by myself, brothers? No, Am I by myself, young men? Come on, somebody. I know where I'm going. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. And then we're too, we're too, we're too, we're too of a man, amen, to put them to the side of the road and ask for instructions. All right. And then we'll drive a whole tank of gas out. Come on, somebody, before we pull over and ask somebody. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. Am I right, ladies? Oh, yeah, amen from somebody up in here. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because we don't want to follow instruction. Well, huh? Oh. Amen. I was up half the night. Amen. I was. Amen. When we first got married, I was young, didn't know no better. I thought I knew everything. Up half the night, trying to put a trousers on. I don't need no instructions. I can just look at the box. <laughs> up half the night. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Huh. Trying to put something together. But you have to understand, y'all, God gives instructions <laughs> for our learning. He gives instructions, amen, for our good. That's right. Lot lingered. Lot did not listen. Hallelujah. And his wife looked back. There was problems in this story that we can learn from. Don't linger. Right. When God gives you a word, don't linger. Right. When God tells you to go, don't linger. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. I was talking to one of my coworkers one day, and she said, David, I know something about your office. She said, you don't have a picture. You don't have a plan. You don't have a poster. You don't have nothing hanging up. I don't even know what your wife looks like, your children look like. I, I don't know anything about you other than you are a preacher. That's all you need to know. I don't need to know what my wife looks like. What my children look like. Amen. What my hobbies are. Come on, somebody. And I said, I said, you know the reason why I do that? I said, I, I do that because, you know, when I get ready to leave here, or if they get ready to kick me out the door, I ain't got to pack no box. I ain't got to get no four wheel. I ain't got to get no dolly. I ain't got to ain't gotta get no boxes and put them together. I can put it in my pocket. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna talk to me and walk out the door. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. When God gives you instruction, don't linger. Come on, somebody. Don't think about it. Don't cry over it. Come on, somebody. You got to move when God said move. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lot leaned. Lot did not listen, and his wife looked back. Look at verse 26, and we're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. Verse, verse 26. Hallelujah. But his wife. Look back yes, sir. from behind them, and she became a pillar of salt. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a place right now over in the Middle East, over the area where they live. There is a there is a a a, a, a salt mound, and it has been said that that is Lot's wife. It is a place of salt, a mound of salt. Not near any area of salt. Mm -hmm. wow. But it is in the area in which these cities were. Mm -hmm. And so they declare that is Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. Even to this day. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's what they declare. But she looked back. Uh -huh. After getting instructions in verse 17. Don't look back. Don't look back. Y'all don't look back. When God tell you, don't look back. When God tell you to let it go. When God tell you to leave it alone. When God tell you to get your hands off of it. When God tell you to let it go. When God tell you to move on. When God tell you, hallelujah, let me have it. Come on. You got to stop looking back with regrets. Come on, with condemnation, yes, with sir. guilt, yes, with sir. pain. Come yes, on, somebody. Yes, oh, hallelujah. You can't look back. Hallelujah. When God has delivered you from something, when God has delivered you from somebody, when God has delivered you from some people, when God has delivered you from some places, don't look back. You got to move on. You yes, got to sir. move on. Amen. Yes, sir. You got to move on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. When I left my girl, uh, my first girlfriend. All right. I left my, I left my, my hand to the left real quick. Amen. When I left my first girlfriend before I, hey, before I got married, before All I met right. Lady Patsy. Amen. Amen. I didn't look back. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. We went our separate ways. I didn't look back. Praise yes, God. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. But when God began to prosper me and I began to get promoted up into the company, became project manager and all this type of stuff. Amen. Here she wants to come back. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Say, can we have lunch together? Can we can we sit down and talk? I said, no. Huh? I done moved on. Yes, sir. I don't have any regrets. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And every now and then I see and I speak to her. How you doing? God bless you. Yeah. How's everybody doing? Amen. But I don't look back. Yes, sir. I don't have regrets. Come on, somebody. Yes, my best days are in front of me. My worst days are behind me. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me up in here. And he said, look not back yes, when I bring you out of something. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. You wanna entertain yesterday. Oh, right. You wanna go back to the golden age of yesterday. Y'all right. ain't gonna right. talk to me. Amen. Right. This ain't no long ranger. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You ain't gonna turn to yesterday. 
to hear. You got to live right now. You got to embrace what God is giving you right now. You got to thank Him for now and appreciate, hallelujah, that He brought you out. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. me somebody, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You have to understand that God wanted them to forsake what was behind them. That's right. Yes, sir. God said, I'm getting ready to wipe it off the map. Oh, thank you. Huh? Thank you. Oh, when, amen. When God wipes it clean, it's clean. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. And just like he said about your sin, I cast your sin and from the east and from the west, and I will remember them no more. But the devil have a way. I always wanted us to go back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. But what are you trying to do it? Yes, sir. Trying to make you go back. Yes, have a pity party. Yes, sir. Feel sorry. Yes, Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. You done repented. He's still having you say, I'm sorry, Lord. Okay. Amen. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Huh? You done repented. God has forgiven you, but you still say, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. He said, For what? Uh, uh, We're the ones who allow the devil to bring that up. All right. All right. All right. Uh, well, the devil, you, amen. The devil, you, uh, he uses what's called a, amen, the shadow of shame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. It's a shadow. Yes. It's a shadow. It ain't real. It's a shadow. My God. Amen. It has no substance. That's right. Uh, but it'll bring shame well, if you keep looking back. Well, All right. That's right. My, 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 my. Wow. That's a nugget. So you have to understand that, that amen, there are lessons that God wants us to learn out of this encounter with Lot. Hallelujah. He wants us, praise God. He wants us not to linger over things. Or don't dwell over the past. Or don't, amen, don't mourn over yesterday. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to let, learn to let it go and learn to pick up yourself and clear up yourself. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Even David, after he lost a baby boy, David mourned for seven. Seven days and got up and washed his face and fed him the breakfast and moved on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even God told Israel over in, over in the book of uh, book of Deuteronomy chapter one, verse six through eight. He said, "You have moved around this mountain too long. Yes. Too long. Yes. Too long. Yeah. Too long. Too long." Yeah. Amen. 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 Even in the first part of Joshua, the writings of Joshua, God said that you've mourned for Moses too long. Yeah. I've given you 30 days. Let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. Moses, that servant, is dead. Yeah. Joshua now is your leader. Yes, sir. Uh, That's it. Huh? Linger, linger. You linger, you linger. Then you didn't want to listen to the lesson. Come uh, on. Uh, now, now, we're at the point in our life that we come to a new year. We got to be determined. I'm going to listen to God more this year. Uh -huh. I'm going to listen to God. I'm determined, hallelujah, not to linger and dwell on my past. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Lord. Hallelujah. Don't hesitate. You hesitate to be late. That's right. Huh. That's right. So here, he tells us. Jesus. Hallelujah. That lot. Miss God, but God was merciful. Verse 30. Said Lot went out of the Zohar and dwelt in the mountain, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zohar, and he dwelt in a cave. He and his two daughters. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. Hallelujah. It is so easy to get caught up yes, sir. into our own abilities. Our own intellect, so right. our own schooling. So right. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you that you've got to hear God. you got to listen to God. Hallelujah. you got to listen to the Holy Ghost. How many know that the Holy Ghost will instruct you? He'll teach you some things. He won't lead you wrong. The Holy Ghost will teach you about life. Not just spiritual things. I believe this with my heart. Ladies, men, hallelujah. If you don't know something, the Holy Ghost will teach you. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. He'll teach you about life. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He'll teach you. Even in your schooling, he'll help you. Yes, sir. Be a better student. Is that right? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I oftentimes tell the story. I never forget my stories because they have meaning to me. They may be insignificant to you, but they have meaning to me. 
that the Holy Ghost teaches a lesson, teaches of what to do, when and how, what to say, how to say it, when to say it. Hallelujah. He'll teach you how to be quiet. He'll teach you how to speak up. Is that right? Amen. He'll teach you what to do on your job. Yes, Come on, somebody. When you can't figure it out, you'll figure it out. Is that right? Do I have a witness in here? Yes. We'll teach us brothers how to do some things with our hands. Yes. Is that right? Yes, if we don't know what to do, is that right? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Say, Lord, teach my hands. Teach my hands. Hallelujah. Oh, teach my ears to hear sound instructions. Hallelujah. Oh, you teach it. Is that right? Yes, Amen. Amen. Praise God. I, amen. I share every now and then my little toilet story. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. We were living in our first house, and it was an older house, and the toilet kept running, running, and running, and running. And in my mind, I'm thinking, money. Now, that water bill. It's good. It kept running and running. I couldn't get it to stop running. So I ran to Walmart, got a new flapper. Running and running and running and running. I pulled the tank off of it, repositioned it, and, 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 and kept running and running. I went to Walmart again and bought another part, took that one back, bought, bought, bought another part, took that back, bought another part. I said, Lord, these folks don't think I'm running something, a scam or something, buying yeah. parts, bringing them back for refunds, all this kind of stuff. But I couldn't get that toilet to stop running. It frustrated me. It made me angry. It upset me. Hallelujah. It wore me down. Life will wear you down. So I laid across my bed, my bed and I prayed. I said, Lord, what do I need to do? Now all of a sudden, a presence came in my room took my hands, both my hands, by the wrist, pulled me up from the bed, guided me into the bathroom, took the top off the tank, put my hands in that water, and grabbed the flapper, and just moved it. Just a little, wasn't even a half inch. Maybe probably a three eighths of an inch. Move that flapper over. It stopped running. Mm -hmm. All that I tried to do yeah. didn't work. That's right. But when I humble myself and ask God, Amen. Lord, what do I need to do? Amen. The Holy Ghost came in and showed me and instructed me on what to do. Amen. I never forget those little stories like that. Because they remind me and keep me humble. Yes, sir. When I think I get it all together, when I think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in charge, He comes and reminds me, I'm in charge. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on. He had to remind Lot, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to challenge you today. Everyone step to your feet. My time is up. Everyone step to your feet. I want to challenge you right now to humble yourself this year. Make up in your mind that you're going to listen to the Lord. Humble yourself before the hand of God. Hallelujah. I want to challenge you today that as we have consecrated these men and women of God, if you're here today and you want to rededicate your life to the Lord this year, if you're here today and you're not saved, you want to give your life to the Lord this year, this is your moment. I want to challenge you to get out of your seat, come to the altar. The elders and I, the men and women of God, will pray for you. We'll lay hands upon you. We'll touch and agree with you in prayer. If that's you, I want you to come right now. Hallelujah. If you've made some mistakes and you realize that, I didn't hear God. I didn't follow the instructions. Hallelujah. Pray with me that I'll do better this year. I want you to come right now. 
in the name of Jesus, will you come? If there's a sickness in your body, will you come? Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. If there's a family dilemma, let's pray. If there's a problem on your job, let's pray. <coughs> Hallelujah. You can't beat prayer. Doesn't cost you anything. But a few steps to get out of your seat. Come right now in the name of Jesus. Don't leave this place and oh, I wish I had went to the altar. Why don't you come right now? Perhaps it's not for you, but it's for a loved one. Somebody back at the house, some family member, some friend that needs prayer. You can stand on their behalf. Why don't you come right now? Whatever that need is, we're here. We're here. We'll pray with you. We'll believe God with you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else today? Anyone else who needs prayer? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, for every person here. I thank you for every man, woman, boy, and girl. I pray with you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, lay hands upon this house. Lay hands upon every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. In the name of Jesus. Touch and make home. Touch and deliver right now. Satan the Lord rebuke you right now. We bind everything that's not of God. We bind everything that's not like God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, every spirit, every demon that come against us, we bind it right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak healing over your house. I speak deliverance over your people. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Would everyone lift your hands? Just lift one of your hands right now. We, we give it to let you go, Father. Let thy will be done. Oh, Father, Over every you. person right now, thank you, Lord. Honor their steps, direct their path yeah. right now. Right now. I pray blessings upon them as we lift our hands, oh God. Lord, we said, Thou art the Lord. Yes, Lord. Thou art the Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. name of you are God, yes. and there is no other. no other. And we declare your goodness in the land of the living. And we thank you, Father. That Father bless us as we leave this place. Bless us in our going. Bless us in our as you have blessed us in our coming today. I thank you for that. And I give you the praise. I give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. You are dismissed. Shake somebody's hand. Give them a good God bless you. You are dismissed. God bless you. God bless you, dear. Are oh, you all right? Can you find us? You're fine. God bless you.